Superkid, the portal to the unknown. It was a calm morning in the city of Centrin, where Superkid often kept watch from the skies. The citizens trusted him, knowing that although he was only 10 years old, he was the bravest hero they had ever seen. With his blue, red, and yellow suit, and the shining shield emblazoned with the letters SK on his chest, Superkid inspired confidence in everyone who saw him. However, that morning, something different happened. While flying over the city, his sharp senses picked up a strange vibration, as if the very air was shifting. Turning to look, he saw a purple flash of light on the horizon, slowly expanding. Intrigued, he sped towards it. When he arrived at the source of the disturbance, Superkid saw something he had never witnessed before, a glowing portal floating in the air, with swirling colors resembling a mix of galaxies. The ground around the portal was distorted, as if reality itself was bending. At the center of the portal, a mysterious energy pulsed, like a heartbeat. Superkid landed softly in front of the portal, his eyes filled with curiosity and caution. He knew he couldn't ignore this. Something was about to happen. Suddenly, a figure appeared from within the portal, a creature seemingly made of both shadow and light. It was tall, with long arms stretching outward and glowing eyes that reflected the stars. Super Kid, the creature said, its voice echoing in the wind. I am Korok, guardian of the portals of the multiverse. This is the portal to the unknown, a place that connects multiple dimensions and realities. But something has gone wrong. Something is disrupting the balance between worlds, and we need your help. Super Kid frowned. He had faced villains on Earth, but nothing compared to what was being asked of him now. The multiverse, unknown dimensions, this was a challenge bigger than any he had ever faced. But he knew he had to do it. What do I need to do? He asked firmly. Korok raised a hand, and small orbs of light emerged from the portal, floating around Super Kid. You must cross the portal and stop the beings trying to invade our reality, the Guardian said. These invaders come from a chaotic dimension, a place where time and space don't exist as we know them. If they fully cross into our world, their presence could destabilize the entire universe. Super Kid nodded. He knew he couldn't fail. Taking a deep breath, he launched himself into the portal, feeling the energy wrap around him as it transported him to another world. As he passed through the portal, Super Kid found himself in a completely different dimension. The sky was a vivid emerald green, and the stars shone closer than they did in his own world. Around him, strange creatures floated, unaffected by gravity, some with multiple eyes, others with bodies that constantly shifted form. It was a visual chaos, but Super Kid stayed calm. In the distance, he saw a massive tower, made of glass and metal, which seemed to be the center of everything. He knew that's where the source of the problem had to be. Without hesitation, he flew toward the structure at top speed. Inside the tower, the atmosphere was cold and oppressive. The walls seemed to move, changing shape with every step he took. Super Kid moved cautiously until he reached a large central chamber. In the center of the room floated a dark figure, cloaked in shadows. So, you're the famous Super Kid, the figure said in a deep, mocking voice. I thought you'd be bigger. Super Kid didn't respond right away. He studied the creature, trying to gauge its power. He could feel the dark energy radiating from it, like a living presence surrounding him. I don't care about your size. The figure continued. Once I open the portals, all worlds will be mine to rule. And no one can stop me. That's not going to happen, Super Kid said firmly. I'm here to close that portal, and I won't let you destroy my world or any other. The creature lunged at him, wrapping him in thick darkness. Super Kid struggled to break free, feeling how the dark energy tried to absorb his own strength. But remembering Korok and the beings of the multiverse depending on him, he gathered all his energy, concentrating it into the shield emblazoned with S-Cape on his chest. A bright explosion of light erupted from him, disintegrating the shadows and forcing the creature to retreat. You can't win against the light of justice, Super Kid shouted, launching himself forward. With one final strike, the creature was destroyed, its form dissipating like smoke in the air. 
Super Kid, panting, stood firm. He knew he had won the battle, but it wasn't over yet. Using the remaining energy in his shield, he sealed the portal from within, ensuring it would never open again. Back on Earth, Cork smiled as he saw Super Kid return through the portal, which closed for good behind him. You have saved more worlds than you can imagine, Cork said gratefully. Super Kid smiled, ready for his next adventure, knowing that no matter how great or unknown the challenge, he would always be ready to face it.